Every year at the University of Utah, Dr. Henry Eyring sponsored a foot race in which he ran against all comers, especially his students. He ran into his 70s. Crowds turned out to cheer on the runners. It was an event. Henry Eyring was a great chemist. He worked on many chemical problems, wrote seven to 800 papers, and received dozens of awards. So there'd be powder down here in the bottom. Dr. Ted Eyring now teaches chemistry at the U. Yeah. He says his father's greatest contribution was one he made as a young man, his transition state theory. He could tell you a little bit about how the molecules come together to react to form products. Chemistry students study the theory in texts, and it's still cited in chemical papers. Henry's son, Harden Eyring, is human resources director at the Utah State Office of Higher Education. He remembers his father's obsession with chemistry. He thought about science 16 hours a day. Well, Henry Eyring was mostly a team leader, an idea man who directed research and wrote the equations that explained the lab results. There are lots of people who can do things in the lab with their hands. What he could do in his office with his head was really pretty remarkable. Henry Eyring was born in 1901 on a ranch in Colonia Juarez, an LDS settlement in Mexico. But he spent much of his youth grubbing sagebrush on a farm in Arizona. At college, he studied mining engineering, but changed to chemistry, got a Ph.D. at Berkeley, and worked at Berlin and Princeton. He married Mildred Benyon, a beautiful woman of strong mind and intellect. And they had three sons, Hardin, Ted, and Henry, who is now an apostle for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I didn't deserve it, but he always loved me. <laughs> and I knew it. <laughs> Mildred Benyon Eyring died of cancer, and Henry Eyring was for a time alone. Then he met Winifred Clark at church and drove her home from a fireside. So as he left me, he said, may I call on you again? And I thought, well, I think maybe he really needs some help. They married, and Eyring helped raise Winifred's four girls. He was the kindest man in the world. My daughters loved that man. Henry Eyring helped build the University of Utah. He made this university a better place to do science. Not only was he a scientist, he was a showman. He was funny. He was a real entertainer. He lectured all over America and could explain scientific ideas and at the same time make people laugh. He was um, curious, interesting, funny, self-deprecating. He knew all the big names in science. They knew him and liked him. He could inspire enthusiasm. The chemistry building is the Henry Eyring Chemistry Building. He was a chemist father and husband, and everyone who knew him liked him. I mean, you know, he just, he was a, a good guy.